kind of nervous. I was like, okay, this is exciting that there's a 2.0, but what about all the old designs? Is that hey, Erica here. So I'm just going to hop on really quick and do a little bit of a walkthrough of Canva 2. Yes, that's right, Canva 2.0. I literally just noticed that it was on the side of my screen um, yesterday. Sorry, I have a nukes cup. If they have a nukes where you are, like this video. Or let me know what your favorite thing to get is. Anyways, so on that side of my screen, I noticed that there was a new option. And it said Canva 2.0. And at first I was ignoring it. I was like, oh, whatever. And I was like, okay, let me look. And it was like, really cool. And... Let me know if you use Canva every day. I do at some point use Canva. Now, for my clients, I do use Photoshop, and as you're gonna see in the screen share, I can transfer things I made in Photoshop over to Canva really quickly, show it to them, boom, they can give me their feedback and I can make the needed revisions. Also, if you didn't know, I actually offer Canva templates. So if you are in real estate, fashion, a blogger, lifestyle blogger, um, or travel, I have different templates and I'm making more. So this 2.0 is kind of a really cool thing because I was going to make more templates for different industries and now that there's a newer version of Canva, at least my designs can be all the way up to date. Now if you have any templates that were made with Canva 1.0, they will still work. And that's the good news, because I got kind of nervous. I was like, okay, this is exciting that there's a 2.0, but what about all the old designs? Does that mean they're going to be archived or forgotten about? And it's like, no. Okay, so this is Canva 2.0. And what I noticed right off the bat is that your upload section is huge. And you can kind of upload multiple things at the same time. Let's see what the elements looks like okay so it's showing you everything instead of having just the little thumbnails for each one it's more vertical now this kind of reminds me of pick monkey a little bit um, from back in the day pick monkeys probably changed a lot since then but this reminds me kind of their layout how it was um, so they got the pictures up here grids shapes everything used to be little icons so this is kind of cool okay text now it doesn't have the top three fonts that you use for your brand um which i'm kind of frustrated about but i mean at least it gives you starting points um for text it has a lot more options than it did before or either these are the same options i just never noticed so add a text box this was something i found interesting um so it doesn't use your three fonts that you designated like in 1.0. In 1.0, you could say what you wanted to be your header, what you wanted to be your subtitle, what you wanted to be your body text. This is just literally a text box and you can just you know, type to heart's content. So since this is a watermark, that they're gonna be, um, yeah, watermarks. And as you can see, you still can, sorry, let me go back. So from uploads, let me take this off. You just click and then you can just go like that. It doesn't have a little menu like it used to, but anyways, you literally just drag and drop like before. And now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Um, it doesn't have the box around it like it did before. So you just gotta look for the little round circles. But yeah, kind of pretty much painless at this point. Um, still has the mark showing you what's the center, which is cool. Gotta have that. Okay, and then if you click here, um, as you can see, the little white things come up, and then the menu is still the same. Um, I guess this position is a little bit different. This used to be called adjust. And so the, blah. You can still change the transparency of the item, um, position, middle, top, bottom, left, center, right, forward, backward. 
Um, because there's nothing overlapping it, let's see what happens if I put this on top. Now in position, you're gonna see backward, forward, backward, like just like before. So I guess they just changed the name of that. Um, what else? Okay, so those are some major differences that I noticed. This is really my first time getting in here, except for yesterday, doing something completely different, but um, this is my first time really, really um, getting in here with it. You can still copy like before, so this is watermark number two. I kind of miss the old text boxes, I'm not gonna lie. I felt like they kind of gave you more of a gauge of exactly where the endpoint was of whatever you're typing. But this is kind of cool that you don't have an annoying huge box. Like that would happen, I'd go to add one word and you know there'd be a long obnoxious box. So that's kind of cool that I don't have to worry about like bringing the box in like before. But anyways, okay, so that's that. So I'll bring this text down here and to change the text, we just double click just like before. And all of your uploaded fonts are still here. Um, I think they're, they're in reverse order though from however you um, uploaded them. So whatever you, actually no, there's no rhyme or reason. Oh, they're in alphabetical order, I see. Before it used to be whatever you had uploaded first to whatever was the newest font. So now they're in alphabetical order, which is kind of cool. Okay, so I want this to be Railway. That's the font I like to use to each his own. Um, I could probably make this a little bit smaller. Not that small. <laughs> okay. That's cool. That'll work. Okay. And you can still, you know, zoom in, zoom out just like before. What other features? Okay, so folders. Photo folders, just like before. Instead of them being arranged in the little boxes um, horizontally, now they're just a vertical list. This could get annoying, not gonna lie. Um, but at least, you know, they're all there, they're still a feature. And then all the layouts are, you know, three columns of layouts. Pretty nice, instead of it being the one huge, I should put my finger on the screen, so that being the one huge layout and you scrolling through a bunch, um, I guess they've added a whole lot more layouts, that's why they had to make it to where you could see them side by side, um, which is cool, you know, that's exciting, you can have more starting points to go from, save some time, um, and then down here, apps, hmm, I've never seen this before, animation pro, turn your Canva designs to beautiful, fun GIFs and videos, that could be cool. Organization Pro, Unlimited Folders and Storage, Brand Kit, well, we already know, I already have that. Fonts Pro, yeah, I already have that. I already have that, or I've already used that, I should say. Images, unlock access to, okay. Whoa, this is huge. Canvas schedule. So this might take this might really take business from Hootsuite, Buffer, CoSchedule, HubSpot. Whoa, this is huge. I'm going to have to talk about that in another video. <laughs> that is pretty freaking cool, not going to lie. Um, that's cool. It connects with Facebook now. And that's cool to get unlimited access to stock photos. This is a huge update. I'm going to have to do it in a separate video. And I had used the beta when you go to save. Um, you could save as an animation, but yeah, that's pretty freaking cool. And you can do this to the tab, hides it, I guess. So that's cool. Um, so back to elements, or uploads, I should say. Okay, so this is the one in slate I want him to see. And if you don't know what an in slate is, let me tell you real quick. So at the end of videos on YouTube, you know those cute little images in the background that say, hey, like and subscribe, and then it lets you click the next video they have or their last video. 
that's an end slate. So I make those for people um, as well as their watermark and their banner. And this is um, from my friend. Her son is starting a toy review channel. So this is for him. It's such a cute project. Um, this is probably the most fun project I've done in a while slash cute project. Um, I get cute. I do cute stuff or pretty stuff all the time, but the cute kid stuff, not as often. So this is really cute. Anyway, so yeah, I can still stretch the photos like before. Now something cool I noticed um, was, you know, before you'd have to have an image frame here to be able to swap them out, but watch what happens when I click this. Oops, it's not doing it. Okay, I know how to show y'all. So edit, undo is still there, which is cool. And then undo again, okay. So if I bring this over here, it replaces the photo. I think that's kind of cool because when you're inside like a layout, like, hold on, let me go back. When you're in one of these layouts with a bunch of different photos, um, it's nice to be able to pop in and out the pictures. So I think that's a cool feature without having to like rescale and all that crap. Um, so let me go back and then undo again. Boom. Okay, so the title, you can still, just like before, you can change the file name. So this is going to be Carter Inslate. And today's date is the 5th. Yeah. So we still have the option to download in different file formats. Um, print, standard, JPEG, PDFs. Okay, so she's going to be viewing this on her phone most likely. So this is just fine. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Let me know. Enjoy! See you next time! Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more Canva tutorials, let me know. Bye!